Kampala traders are temporarily closing their businesses, starting this Wednesday, in response to the abrupt cancellation of a highly anticipated meeting with President Museveni. The meeting, scheduled for July 31st, was called off via a WhatsApp voice message from Kampala Minister Minsa Kabanda, sparking outrage among the business community. We've crossed the shops because we don't know what's going on in the country. People are saying we must close. Others are saying that we should not. The president say that they are still working upon the, the national grounds, Kololo. So, the, our, our idol traders are saying that they should go on the TV, televisions and say what he has to say. Casada spokesperson, Sakito condemned the cancellation of the meeting as unprofessional and disrespectful, criticizing the manner in which it was communicated. It is very unprofessional, very disrespectful that a whole minister can just use an SMS voice on WhatsApp to stop a long-awaited presidential engagement. He emphasized that such significant announcements should be delivered through formal channels, including official letters or state house communiques. The traders have expressed frustration over what they see as a lack of consideration for their concerns. But we don't understand what is hidden behind it. They just they say freeze, but when you go inside it, it is a big thing. So we have to, we need the government to teach us, we get to know more about it so we can operate with it, something we understand. Many are struggling financially due to current business challenges exacerbated by what they perceive as excessive taxation and regulatory burdens. The cancellation of the meeting was attributed to renovations at the Kololo ceremonial grounds, but Sakito and other traders are not satisfied with this explanation. They argue that the president could have arranged to meet them at an alternative location or used another method to communicate. This is not a Kampala issue, it's a national issue affecting traders across Uganda. We want answers on taxation particularly the new regulations on garments and textiles, which we consider illegal. The traders, who have been vocal about their grievances regarding the use of the EFRA system and high taxes, are prepared to close their businesses as a form of protest until they receive a dignified response from the president. Hi everyone, my name is Anita, manager Palm Hotel. We are located opposite Mukwano Mall along Rashid Kamis Road. You can get to us through the numbers on the screen. We have very affordable accommodation, free internet, DSTV and more other offers. You can follow us on all our social media platforms. We are Palm Hotel.